welcome. Today guys, we're gonna be making some naan bread. And to make this naan, you're going to need flour, warm water, yeast, yogurt, and yogurt is very important for this recipe. I have melted butter, or you can use vegetable oil, some baking powder, some dried parsley flakes, and we're gonna use the dried parsley flakes to finish the naan, and some salt. So I'm just gonna set the parsley flakes aside, and to the flour, I'm adding in the salt, the yeast, and the baking powder. Give the dry ingredients a mix. Now I'm gonna add in the yogurt. And I'm gonna add in one tablespoon of the melted butter. Set the rest of butter aside, we'll use that later on. Now you're going to add enough warm water to help bring this together. Once the dough starts to come together, I'm help just using a little dusting of dry flour. You're going to knead this, bring it together until it's very smooth and supple. After you finish kneading your dough for about two to three minutes and it's pretty smooth and supple, cover it and store it in a warm place. Now I've stopped putting it in my microwave and I've actually started putting it in my oven together with a cup of boiling hot water. The hot water is going to create a really beautiful warm environment for this so that it can be able to double in size quicker. Okay, so you see how the dough has risen really beautifully. I'm just going to punch down on it. And now we want to take this and form it into small balls. Or make it as big or as small as you want. So if you want a small nan, you would make small balls. If you want large ones, well, you make these balls larger. So lightly flour your surface and taking one of the dough balls, open it out. And if you have problems opening out your dough, just let it rest for two to three minutes after forming it, forming it into the balls, and that will be easier to roll out. So now you're going to roll this out, and it's rolled out like an oval. If you've ever seen nan, it's more shaped like an oval. So guys, it doesn't need to be perfect. That's okay if it's not perfectly round because it's more like a rustic looking roti. So I'm going to roll out a couple of these and then we'll move on onto cooking them. Okay, so the frying pan is nice and warm. Now we're going to move ahead onto cooking our naan. Once you see the bubbles starting to form, you're going to flip this over. You want to cook it on both sides to make sure both sides have a really beautiful golden brown color. So when once one side gets the brown color, flip it and let the other side um, get that color also. Once the naan is brown on both sides, you're going to take some melted butter and just brush it over the top. Next, take this out and set it aside on your serving plate. So I'm going to continue cooking the rest of naan and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm finished. Now guys, buttering the naan is totally optional. It's all up to your, your preference if you want it. You can have it plain. And once you butter it, you take your dried parsley flakes and you go ahead and you sprinkle it over the top to garnish. 
So guys, here you have it. Soft, buttery naan. As I said, you can have it with or without the butter. It's totally up to you. And if you wanted to rub some um, pasted garlic to have garlic butter naan, you can. So I just want to break into one. Let me show you guys. This is how soft this naan is. It's so soft. And it's airy, it's pillowy, it's soft. You guys are going to love this. You can make this in place of salad roti. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Make this naan. Let me know if you like it. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, I hope you subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like the video and share it with your friends. And I will see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy! Enjoy!